editing Aaliyah here. I know, at the very start of the video, <laughs> before the actual video. <laughs> but I just wanted to pop in and say that I know that in the last video I promised a Bridgerton video next. That is still coming, but this box came today and I was just really excited about it. So I wanted to make this video now. The Bridgerton video should be up next. So if you're new here and you came from my last video, this is gonna be completely different from that. If you wanted Bridgerton, that's gonna be next. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, my channel is just chaos. This video is very chaotic as well. So if it's not your thing, just skip it. That's totally fine. But if it is your thing, then I hope you enjoy. Hello, my lovelies. It's so nice to see you again. We are going to do something a little bit different today. I know I do a lot of hauls, but I don't think I've ever done a clothing haul before, and that's what this is gonna be. So if you're into clothes, fashion, I don't know, outfits at all, then this might be the video for you. We are doing a ThreadUp unboxing, and I have not used ThreadUp before. This is not sponsored. Just wanted to give it a shot. So we're gonna open up this big beefy box of items that I picked out. Yeah, we're gonna see how they are, like the quality, if it meets expectations. I'm really excited to get into it, so let's get started. Welcome back to The House Beyond the Hedge. I think I picked out 10 items. The context is that I am going on a trip to Copenhagen and Iceland. And <laughs> this is like the reason that I did this order. I need a coat. So I have coats, but they're all huge, like long, heavy, like take up a ton of space. And I wanted something a little more compact that would fit in my suitcase better. I could carry around easier just not as heavy. So I picked out a couple of coats. They're very on sale, so I figured if they don't fit, it's okay, I can just give them to a friend or you know resell them or something. And that was the reason for the order, but then I was like, well, I'm doing this order anyway. The stuff is really cheap there. It's secondhand, you know, you're doing kind of a good thing, not buying new clothes, buying secondhand. Sometimes I'm a little lazy to go to thrift stores or I get overstimulated really easily, so they just feel overwhelming. So shopping online is really awesome. Like I said, this isn't sponsored. Just wanted to try it out. Yeah, I'll give you my honest thoughts. We're gonna start looking at what I got. I'm hoping that all of these might work for my trip, so I probably will pack a lot, if not all of these, if they end up fitting. One of the things about ThreadUp is the sizing. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. They have measurements listed, but honestly, I don't really find the measurements very useful, especially for things like skirts and pants. There's almost never a waist measurement, which I feel like is the most important measurement to know for those things. So thread up if you're listening, maybe you could add some waist measurements, but hopefully these will all fit. For the most part, I pick things that like are kind of flexible sizing or sort of in the general range, like it's a medium and I know I probably will fit a medium and a shirt or whatever. So the packaging is really cute. Uh, I ordered for Earth Day. So they were having a sale for Earth Day. They're basically always having a sale though, so it's not, that big of a deal, you just go on there and there's always a sale. I'm gonna lower you down so you can see better. First item is this little dress. It's short, which I've been wanting to have more short skirts and dresses lately because I got these tattoos just above my knees and I really wanna wear more stuff where I can see the tattoos. So this is, hopefully will fit me and it does have like that, I forget what this is called, not ruching. Something else, remind me in the chat if you know what this is called. But, so it's very flexible, which I like. This is like one of my favorite material types. I have a lot of shirts that like this and I think I bought something else with that. But yeah, it's just really cute little plaid dress. Super puffy sleeves, which I love. So far, this looks just as described. Quality looks good. Doesn't look stained or anything. So yeah, let's just try it on. Oh my gosh, this dress is so cute. It's like the perfect length of short where I don't feel too self-conscious. And if I, especially if I wear leggings or tights under it, definitely wouldn't. It's a little shorter in the back than I'm used to, but I think it'll be okay. And I love, love, love the sleeves. Like, so cute. So yeah, 
that's that. I'm very excited. Off to a really great start. Um, sorry about the background. I don't really have a good spot with a lot of natural light that has also a cute background. So like, you're just gonna see the TV. So sorry about that. But yeah, this is a great way to start. Let's look at the next item. Okay, so this is kind of like a little athletic sort of top. I don't know, jacket, very light jacket. It's actually more athletic than I was expecting. I think that is probably more user error though because it's kind of hard to tell on ThreadUp what black items really look like because the color is so saturated. Like if you know if you have a black cat, they just look like a void. So sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what the actual fabric is or what it's really gonna look like with black items. So this is actually a lot more stretchy and athletic material than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more like, not fleecy, but like more soft. But honestly, it's okay because this will dry super quickly if it gets wet, which is nice. And I really wanted something thin that I could layer under my other coats for extra warmth if I needed to. Pros that I like that I didn't know about when I ordered it. The sleeves have like this elastic on it that almost makes it kind of like a bell sleeve a little bit, which is really cute. It has a hood, which I did want, so I like that. It's cropped, which I like, because I can wear it with like high-waisted jeans and stuff and skirts. And part of the reason I got it is this feature. It has a zipper on the back with a little pocket, which I really like, because if I don't want to carry a bag around, I can like put my wallet in there, my phone, and I don't have to worry about like losing it because it zips up. So I would say success, even though it wasn't the material I expected. I actually really like it and I think it'll be great for the trip. So item number two, nailing it so far. All right, let's just keep doing the jackets, I guess, since I can just put it over this dress. So the next thing is this jacket, which I really like, but it feels more like a sweatshirt in person, which I couldn't really tell online. It's not really like a coat. Like I thought it was gonna be more like a coat because it has these, this like style of closure. I mean, it's very cute, like totally fine for regular life. I just don't know if it's what I was hoping for, for my trip. And this was kind of the reason that I did this order, but let's try it on and see. It just seems really a lot thinner than I was expecting. Like it really is more of a sweatshirt, like hoodie material, which probably isn't warm enough for what I'm gonna need for this trip, unfortunately. A little small in the arms too. Maybe that could be because I'm wearing like this giant puff sleeve dress though. So that's that. It's all right. I think it's a little smaller than I would like. Not a lot of space to layer something else underneath. And it's a little more, I would say worn than the other two items. The other two items really feel like almost new. This definitely has more of like a used vibe. Not, not in a bad way. I mean, these are used clothes, but it's not as nice and new looking. I do think it's cute. I like it. And I might be likely to wear it around here at home. I just don't think it's gonna do what I was hoping for the trip in terms of being like my coat substitute. But that's okay. And I'm not gonna list like the, you know, what the full retail price was versus what I bought it for. Like when you see people do ads for this, because honestly, I don't wanna have to look that up. But I think each item was under $20, and most of them, I wanna say, were more in the like $15 or less. I'm pretty sure that coat was like 10 bucks. So, Mr. Cat, no. Are you helping? I do have one more like sweater coat item, so we'll try that on next, and then we'll get to the other stuff. This I knew was gonna be more like a sweater. It is this cute knit looking sweater. Uh, it has the most adorable little elbow patches, suede elbow patches, and a big hood with like a quilted inside. Actually, this one feels almost warmer than that other one. I might be able to just use this if I put something else under it, like the other little coat thing that I got. Okay, honestly, this is so cozy, and it definitely feels thicker and warmer than that other one. And it actually has like a nylon lining even. So even though it looks like a knitted sweater, it has like a windbreaker type lining to add extra warmth and I don't know, barrier from the actual air. And it's super cute. I like this one way more than the other one. And the hood is like really nice and big, which I love. And I, like I said, just love the elbow patches. 
So yeah, this one is much more of a success and I might be able to get away with using this as a coat if I just layer it with maybe that other little coat that I got, the little athletic one or like a sweater underneath or something. So I don't know, we'll see. It is definitely not like warm there, but it isn't winter winter. I think most of the temperatures are gonna be like in the 50s. So this might work, this might work. High marks for this one. <laughs> okay, so the next item is a little top. It once again has that, this whatever stretchy thing that is called. And once again has the little sort of poofy sleeves because that's basically all I wanna wear is this exact kind of top. And I'm hoping that this will fit because I will definitely take this on my trip if it does. This lighting's washing it out a little bit, but it's kind of like a medium green color. And yeah, let's try it on. I'm gonna put it back on with my jeans. Okay, so here it is. It's super cute. I feel like it fits really well. I love this little peplum, especially with like a high-waisted jean or a skirt. Just kind of, I don't know, breaks it up a little bit. The sleeves are a little bit of a weird length. Like, they don't quite come all the way down, but kind of long to be like a three-quarter length sleeve. So I'm not really sure how you're supposed to wear this. I kind of probably will end up wearing it more like this because I feel like I push out my sleeves a lot anyway. But either way, I think it looks cute. So yeah, I would also give this one 10 out of 10. I think everything's 10 out of 10 so far, except for that one coat, the one thing that I did this order for. The next thing is this sweater vest, but it's like long and it has a little tie. <laughs> I don't really know, but I am 100% in my cozy knit patchwork era. I love anything that looks like it's kind of like a patchwork. So that is why I bought this. We'll just put it over what I'm wearing right now, even though this isn't necessarily what I would wear it with, but it's, so cute and cozy, it has this like little collar. But there's no buttons or anything, but it does have this little tie, so you can just tie it at the waist to kind of hold it together. And it's just super, super cozy. Kind of like a mid length, thigh length there. And I feel like I'm just in my like cozy grandma era, like I just wanna look like I am a grandma. <laughs> So I'd probably wear it with either a dress that it went with over that or with jeans, but probably a different top than this just because the color doesn't really go. But I do really love this. So I'd say this one is another win. So I have three dresses left and a pair of kind of like lounge pants. I'm gonna do the lounge pants next and then we can do all the dresses in a row. So I'm gonna put those on. They look like this. They're okay. They're probably a little fancier than what I really need for loungewear. Like, I feel like maybe they're meant to be more like wearing out of the house loungewear. Like they look cool. They have these zipper details, which aren't functional. They're just for decoration, which I don't hate or anything. I like, I mean, I saw that when I bought them and they have a zipper kind of on the back of the leg too but I'm probably gonna be mostly wearing them around the house. So I probably don't need as much of all that, but they do fit. Yeah, they're pretty comfortable. I would say not my favorite item that I got, but still totally wearable and I will definitely wear them, so. Okay, so next we have this flowy dress. It has this cute little lace collar on it, very sort of cottage core. And I wanna say this was like, Maybe the cheapest thing I got, maybe it was like $8 or something, $7. But I just love that it has a little attached collar and I love the flowiness of it and the material is like that material that dries really quick, which is nice. So yeah, let's try it on. Okay, I really like this one too. The collar is kind of stiff, but I think it's okay, it lays all right. And it has an elastic waist, which means easy sizing, I can just get a medium in any dress that has like flexible waist sizing and it usually is fine. And that's what this is. It's very, very long and flowy, which I love that and I love it. it has little puffy sleeves. 
I'd probably wear a belt with it over the elastic part to kind of hide that and just look, make it look a little fancier. And it's kind of hard to tell, and I didn't realize this online, but the coloring is actually really pretty. It's kind of a tan, black, white, and then almost like a purpley mauve color which is really nice and a really nice combo. And I think I could wear a brown or black belt with it and it would look good. So yeah, I think this one is also a win. I like this one a lot. I might take this one with me on my trip. I might not. Um, I'll have to like do all my packing and see what I wanna take, but I will definitely wear this a lot just in general. Okay, so the next one is another sort of cottage core style, I don't know, cottage core vibes dress and it's just sort of more of a sack dress style, but it has this cute little ruffle detail on the bottom with two different fabrics, which I really like. And there's a little fabric detail on the pocket and just on the top of the sleeve there. So, and it has a little tie to kind of cinch in the waist, which I think will definitely help it be more flattering. So let's try this one on. Okay, my camera battery died and I don't remember what I was saying, but here's this dress on. Uh, and next time I'll try and figure out a better setup for this. If you like seeing these clothing haul videos, please let me know and I'll maybe do more of them, but I'll probably figure out a better setup. Like I'll maybe do up and down camera for the clothing shots or something. This was just my first one, so I'm figuring it out. So I know you can't see this super well, but I like this one a lot. The tie is actually more of like at an empire waist level, which is totally okay with me. I still think it is flattering. The colors are a little bit brighter and more saturated than they looked in the listing. I was hoping for a little bit darker green and a little bit darker in like the orange yellow colors, but I still really like it. I love the pockets. You can see me wearing this around the house and in the garden a ton this summer really gonna get a lot of use, I think. So love this one. Okay, last but not least, we have my little bit of a splurge. This was probably the thing that I paid the most for, but even so, I think it was like 20, 25 or something, but you'll know why when you see it. <laughs> ah, this is such a pretty dress. It is short with a lot of tulle at the bottom and it has these gorgeous sleeves that have like little points and all of this embroidery that kind of looks like plants, little vines and flowers. And I just saw this and I was like, this is the forest fairy dress of my dreams. And I was like, I have to have it. And then I favorited it. And then when I went to make my order, I saw that it was in someone else's cart. The way that ThreadUp works is you can put things in your cart and they can stay in your cart for a certain amount of time. And then if you haven't purchased them, they'll like go back out and be available. So I literally waited to make my order to see if this would go back into the shop, like out of the person's cart. And it did, and I'm so excited. I really hope this fits me. This is the one that I, I'm really sure if it's gonna fit me because it doesn't have any stretchy waist parts. It's just a zip in the back and it's a medium. So hopefully it'll work, but I, and I also don't know where I'm gonna wear it to, <laughs> but it's so pretty. And I literally just wanna feel like a little fairy in the forest. So let's try it on and hope for the best. It fits. That's my happy dance. <laughs> It is very short, so I probably would wear tights under it or something if I was going to actually wear this somewhere. I'm not gonna turn around. Actually, it's it's just really short for me anyway. And it is more low cut than I'm used to as well, but it actually works really well, I think. Like, obviously you can't really wear a bra with it, but I think that's totally fine. Like the structure of the dress makes that okay. Uh, it fits in the waist totally fine. The thing that I hadn't even thought to think about is that I have enormous man arms and the sleeves are kind of tight. And I really hadn't even considered that that might be the issue, but I probably should have because I know that about my arms. But if you're going to a fancy party or something, you're gonna be drinking some drinks. You're not gonna be like waving your hands over your head. You know, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what kind of parties you go to, but I definitely will have to consider where I wear this. I will not be able to wear it to somewhere where I need to do a lot of dancing because I literally can't raise my arms higher than this. 
It is definitely a more stand and look pretty while potentially holding a beverage dress, so. But I don't even care because it's so pretty. And I love how the sleeves are slit. So when you go like, when you stand like this, your arm comes out and then the sleeve just hangs down. But when you go like this, it like covers your arm. I love that. It's so pretty and I feel so fancy. And I honestly don't have anywhere to wear this to. So someone please throw a garden fairy party or something and invite me because I need somewhere to wear this. It is very similar to my skin tone, especially on camera. So I don't know if that looks bad. Like you tell me if it is just like too much of this color. I guess I could wear, if I was wearing tights or something, maybe it would work. But okay, so needless to say, this dress is a success for sure. So that leaves me with, I think, only two items out of the 10 that are like, meh, you know, and they're not bad. It's just I'm not like 100% psyched about them. The jacket, which was like the reason I did the order, is a little disappointing because it's not what I was expecting. I don't know if that's really ThreadUp's fault. It might have just been me miss you know, looking at the listing and not understanding what it was. And then the pants are okay, and I'll probably wear them, but they're not a 10 out of 10. I think everything else for me is a 10 out of 10 in that I will 100% wear it, and I will wear it a ton. This obviously is extra magical. Don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but I'll find somewhere to wear it. And I think the standout, like, surprises were the little check dress with the puff sleeves. The sleeves are huge, and I love that. And then also the other jacket thing that's like more of a sweater, which I did try it on again. And I think it might be a men's, even though it was in like the women's section on ThreadUp because it is quite large <laughs> and has really long sleeves. But I like that because it's very oversized for like the size that it is. But that means that I can fit other layers under it. So I might consider just trying to take that on my trip with other layers underneath it and see if that works. I guess if it just is freezing and I need something more, I can always buy a coat there or something if I need to, but I don't know. I might take that because all my other warm coats are just enormous and I just don't know if I want to haul those around. So overall, I would say this was a really good experience. Um, like I said, there's a couple things that weren't like my favorite favorite, but they did fit and I don't dislike them. I just am not as hyped about them as I was about everything else. But mostly everything was really great condition, exactly as described, like what the listing looked like and said, and fit me, which is awesome. And I really love all the pieces. Like even the little athletic jacket, which I wasn't expecting to be quite what it was, I actually really like, and I think I will wear that a lot and definitely take that on my trip. So I think that's it for this thread up haul. I did like it and I definitely think I will order from them again. I think all of this together was only like, I'd have to double check, but I think it was like under $120, which for 10 items, including like some bigger jackets and fancy dress and everything, I feel like is a really good deal. So yeah, and oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that ThreadUp has recently added a beta in their search bar where you can search things like fairy or elvish or Victorian actually was a really successful one for me. I think it's more of like an AI search. Some of the terms don't work as well. Sometimes you'll get a lot of like bags and shoes and stuff and hats, but I feel like Elvish worked really well for me. Victorian worked really well. And I think like fairy worked pretty well. And then if you do sort of specific style things, like I think I did puff sleeve blouse or just puff sleeve maybe. And that was like where a couple of the, the dress and the shirt came from or like peasant dress or pe poet blouse, like things like that. Previously, ThreadUp did not have that kind of intuitive search function. You had to either search by brand or you had to narrow it down by the exact item you wanted, like pants, coat, etc., and then like color, style, which part of the reason I never bought anything before was because I didn't really have success with that searching previously. And I just, it felt harder to find things quickly that I really liked. But with this new search function, that's like how I found all of these items pretty much. And not the coats. I think the coats I was just searching for like coat and in the coat section. But like a lot of these other things I just found using that sort of more intuitive search bar. So I would say go 
give it a shot and like play around with some different search terms. Like I think even one of the ones they recommend is like Wednesday Adams, and it gives you all these like black dresses with white collars and stuff. So it's really fun. I think it's much more pleasant to shop on now, easier to find cool things. And yeah, I definitely will be shopping there again. Thread up if you do want to sponsor me. <laughs> Holla at me, cause I'll do it. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like you never know what you're gonna get when you do something like this for the first time. And I'm very pleasantly surprised. Honestly, I think it went better than I even expected. So I think that's gonna be it for this. If you'd like to see more hauls like this, clothing stuff, please let me know and I could do more videos. Like I said, I'll probably get a better setup for that. This was just an impulse video that I made when this box came. But I'd like to do more in the future cause it was super fun and I like to buy clothes. <laughs> and if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments uh, which item was your favorite or if there were any of these items that you would wear or that you would order. I'd love to hear about like if we have a similar style. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, my handle is at House Beyond the Hedge. If you wanna come play cozy games with me on Twitch, my Twitch handle is at Trusty Parasol, so you can go check that out. Thanks so much for being here, and always remember to keep the kettle warm because I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.